But there's another chance factor that was just as vital. Its location. It's only when you consider our planet's position in the solar system that you really begin to understand how fortunate it's been. Too far from the sun, like Mars, and it's simply too cold for life. A little closer and things improve. This is where you find the Earth. We are lucky enough to be in the only place in the solar system, to our knowledge, that's the right temperature for water, the most essential ingredient for life to exist on the surface. Any closer to the sun, like Venus, and it's far too hot. Any water would boil away. Look at the green zone. This is the only place in the entire solar system that can support complex life. And Earth is the only planet there. But it's not just Earth's proximity to the sun that's important. We're also lucky enough to orbit the right type of sun. This is the actual surface of the sun. Every second, four million tons of the sun is converted into pure energy. It's been doing this for more than four and a half billion years. And it's this long lifespan that makes our sun so special. Many other stars are bigger, but at a cost. The larger a star is, the quicker it burns up and dies. It took billions of years for complex life to get going on Earth, and it's our sun's long life that made that possible. And there's one final piece of good fortune that life on Earth depends on. Jupiter. Jupiter is more than 300 times bigger than Earth, so it has a massive gravitational field. This attracts dangerous flying objects that might otherwise hit Earth. Jupiter is Earth's protector. Scientists have even seen it in action. In the early 1990s, a comet was captured by Jupiter's powerful gravity. It broke up into many different pieces, which smashed into the planet. Some of the blasts left scars as big as Earth itself. Without Jupiter, it's likely Earth would have been pummeled by huge impacts like this every 10,000 years or so. Under that kind of bombardment, it's hard to imagine how complex life could ever have got going. Any planet that's to be a home to complex life needs liquid water. A sun that doesn't burn out too quickly. And a giant neighbor to protect it from meteorites. Earth has benefited from all of these An environment that remains relatively stable is essential for complex life to survive. But there's a curious twist. Too much stability and evolution can get stuck in a bit of a rut. Every now and then, 
life needs a catastrophe to shake things up. In the jungles of Mexico lies the evidence for one such catastrophe. One that turned out to be very important for us humans. Everywhere you go around here, you find these holes. They're called cenotes. There's thousands of them, and most of them haven't even been explored. But these are the right people to be with, because these guys are cave explorers. And they're going to show me a new world, one beneath our feet. Team leader Bernadette is the first to descend. There's actually much more to this amazing cavern than first meets the eye. But to understand the scale of what happened here, you have to go deeper still, underwater. <laughs> Cave diving is notoriously risky. It's all too easy to get trapped. But Bernadette's a professional cave diver so I'm in good hands. OK. Descending into the depths of the cenote is like entering a new world. Fewer people have visited some of these drowned caverns than the surface of the moon. As divers have explored further, they've discovered the cenotes are actually part of a huge complex of tunnels and caves. In fact, when you look from above, you can see there are cenotes scattered across Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula. And when they're mapped, it becomes clear that they follow a distinctive circular course through the jungle. They mark out the rim of a giant crater. Scientific instruments show the structure of the underlying rock has been deformed, revealing the boundaries of a colossal meteorite impact crater. Oh, this amazing cavern is part of a bigger story, a much bigger story. 65 million years ago, this was the site of one of the most catastrophic impacts in Earth's history. What became known as the Chicxulub meteorite landed here, and that triggered the extinction of the 